Hello, I am Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making a corned beef. So let's get started in making this brine. Now this is a quick version because generally, generally, for a corned beef it takes maybe, I don't know, days in order for the brine to penetrate to make that delicious yummy corned beef that you love to eat so much in a sandwich. But we are doing a very cheater short version so that within 24 hours we will have delicious, yummy corned beef. Now, how do we do that? Okay, so the first thing I have about, I'd say two liters of water, which is mas o menos, roughly, about eight cups, huh? And so with that, I'm gonna do about two garlic cloves. You could actually use a garlic press or do what I always love to do, is just smash it so that we have all the garlic and the oils come out. About two tablespoons of pickling spice and whatever type of pickling spice you like, that's fine, and the typical, 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 typical brining solution, which is what? You got it. Sugar and salt. So with this, I'm using about a cup and a half of sugar. Again, I prefer brown sugar over white sugar because it imparts a little bit of a sweeter, smoother flavor. And about one cup of salt. Now the way that this is gonna work, it's gonna be considered a quick brine, and why is it a quick brine? Because we're gonna get this to the stove, I'm gonna bring it to a boil, I'm gonna turn off that heat, let it cool down, and then I'm gonna submerge my brisket. So this is a, a typical roasting bag, but I like to use this as a brining bag as well. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna get this brisket inside of here. After I get my brine cooled down, put it in, let my brisket submerge and it's gonna brine to become my corned beef and then we are going to boil it till it gets soft, slice it up and have ourselves some delicious corned beef. Now before I forget, just so you know, brisket equals corned beef and it becomes corned beef once it is in a solution of brine and that's all. My corned beef, or my brisket, has been brining now for about 24 hours in a very quick brine and now we're gonna get it into a pot Add some water, add a few more spices, and get it on the stove, let it simmer for about three to four hours or until tender. So first things first, I like a lot of garlic and I like my corned beef to have the garlic flavor. So I'm gonna do about uh, three to four garlic. Then a little bit more spices, about two tablespoons, and out comes the brisket. I'm actually not gonna submerge my whole brisket completely into water. I'm gonna cover it halfway. Look at that. You can see that the brine has discolored this. That means that, yes, it's been pickling. And it goes to the sink. General rule of thumb, halfway with water. You don't wanna submerge it completely. And that's it. I'm gonna get it on the stove and I'm gonna bring it to a hard, rapid boil. Turn down the heat, cover it, and simmer for about three hours. My corned beef has been simmering for many, many, many hours, and I think we're ready to take it off the stove, out of the pot, and into my mouth. I've got my grubs on, and here we go. Oh, and... Yes. Ah, oh, baby. Here, come to mama. So, this has been an easy 24 hour brine for corned beef using just a plain old brisket. We sat it, cooked it, and now we're gonna eat it. Of course, I like the fat. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I'm the bomb. Best corned beef, why? Because I made it, and you can make it this delicious too. But. It doesn't stop here. Check out my Reuben sandwich using homemade corned beef, sauerkraut, pickles, a little bit of Russian dressing, Swiss cheese all smashed in, rye bread. And I will see you next week with another yummy, yummy recipe. See you soon. Hello, I am Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Today I am making something delicious. I am making a Reuben sandwich. 